hi y'all so today in this video we'll be seeing a new topic it's about how we can handle a dynamic drop down so previously we learned like how to select a value from select type drop down and uh, like if it is a single select or it's a multi select so those things we have already covered but uh, a new thing is like uh, what i'm talking about like if i go to the spicej.com website and uh, we can see uh, like there is a from and to field right so if i click here and you can see one drop down values coming right so this is one kind of drop down so this is not a multi select drop down it's basically a single select drop down so whatever value you will select here like ajmer i'm selecting so ajmer gets selected and automatically this uh, this pop up comes to these two field okay then there you can select amdavad so after that uh, this read field and all the sales so basically we'll be just uh, selecting one value from this from drop down okay that's our target for this video now uh, to do that uh, let's say i want to select kolkata so how we can select it so basically we can type ko and after that i can see like it's uh, showing kochi kolkata lucknow rajkot because it's fine like this two keyword k and o so basically i need kolkata here so i can click on the ccu or i can click on this kolkata so it gets selected right so the same thing how we can perform with playwright and please remember like uh, whenever uh, we are saying like uh, we have to select let's say i'm selecting amdavad so i'm i'm pressing a so you can see all the values which is coming with a is coming displayed i mean uh, let's say i'm clicking ag so you can see all the values which has ag uh, these two uh, keyword it gets displayed right so let's say i want to select cd so i can directly pass this value sag i mean we can create a uh, we can create a customize or kind of generic method where we can pass this sag and it should give me this locator of this uh, of this element right so that we can try so let's see that so basically i have created one file called taste handle dynamic drop down and i just created this template which we can try we can get from directly using playwright code generator okay now i just write page dot go to and then i will pass the url so now i am navigated to this spacejet uh, spicejet dot com url uh, so this page gets loaded now i have to click on it right so let's inspect it and let's get the locator so basically this is uh, uh, let's see what uh, what value we can get it so we can uh, use something Okay, so we can use this uh, data set ID, which is two test ID origin. Okay, so uh, we just click on this data set test ID or just directly copy this. Okay, and uh, now uh, we can see, uh, now if I hit enter, nothing is happening, right? So we just create, a, we just let's create a XPath. So this is under deep tag. So um, at the rate, Test ID equals to uh, this one. Okay, now you can see it's highlighting here. Now we need to go to this input field. So we can just press like double slash input. So you can see it's now highlighting this field. So we can take it and we can come here and we can say like uh, from field right so let's create the locator from uh, input so which is page dot locator and the locator here okay and next what we have to do we have to click on it right first we need to click on this field and then we need to type something like okay, whatever phrase you want you can type it okay now uh, let's um, 
do this click so from input dot click and here after that uh, this drop down I mean this section will be visible right and now what we have to do uh, this where we need to enter the value so we'll be writing prom input dot fill and what is the value we want to enter ko okay so we entered ko so we can see kochi kolkata all those values are coming right now after that uh, what we have to do we have to uh, click on this field whatever value we want to select let's say we want to select kolkata then we have to pass a value in a method and it should select the it should click on it so what we can try uh, we can um, write like page dot locator and here uh, it should be like um, here we need to create a method which will give us the so get locator underscore uh, city okay and which city we want we want CCU this one sorry it's we want CCU so we want to click on CCU or we want to click on Kolkata I mean uh, let's see how we can handle it so currently we are passing CCU and uh, after that we will click on it now let's create a method so we have created a method called get located city and here we are passing city so it should return the locator or the x path right so return uh, so we need to create a dynamic x path so let's try it like let's inspect it first so uh, we want this one so as you can see uh, it's basically Ahmedabad the text Ahmedabad okay so we can create a uh, something like div uh, text equals to uh, Ahmedabad or Kolkata right so we got Kolkata and uh, here we can also try like whether CCU is working or not so you can see CCU is also working so both these uh, both of these um, things is working so we can just copy it and paste it here return uh, so let's create if, if string and here what we'll be doing we'll be passing uh, the city okay so we just created a dynamic x path where we are passing this city from this method and let's say we want Ahmedabad so it will just come Ahmedabad I mean here from here we'll be passing Ahmedabad or whatever value we can pass because we can see here it is working for both this um, country co uh, city code and also the city name so whatever uh, value you will be passing it will work so it is like I mean this we can uh, we can uh, give a doc string here so something like this so here uh, we can see like it it returns it returns um, okay it returns the returns x path of the city parameter city uh, uh, pass city name or city code okay so we just created one doc string here and now we can hover over it so you can see it's saying like city pass city name or city code and returns it returns x path of the city okay so this is our um, generic method which we have created and we are s s passing ccu and then we are clicking on it right so now let's see whether it's working or not okay and uh, we can go to the terminal and now let's run it so we need to run with pytest command pytest minus s dash dash headed and dash um, 
does it as headed and what else we can pass we can give some slow motion to see whether how it is working slow mo equals to one second okay and now uh, select the method right uh, select the file so basics and test um, handle dynamic drop down so let's see what is happening now so we can see it collected one items and it's waiting to launch so you can see spicejs.com is getting launched and it's waiting for this locator and uh, let's see whether it hits click on this yeah it clicked it's entered ko and you can see kolkata got selected right okay so now let's pass kolkata here okay so now let's run it once again So we can see it worked for both Kolkata and CCU. Okay, so like this way we can create one generic XPath and uh, or dynamic XPath and you can handle this dynamic drop down because uh, you can see uh, basically uh, I mean uh, there is a way we can uh, search it. I mean. I mean we can see like it's not exactly dynamic drop down but uh, but it's kind of drop down I mean in some cases we can I mean what I mean by dynamic drop down here like uh, sometimes this cities doesn't I mean all the cities name doesn't get displayed okay so once you hit here once you type something like if you type something like uh, BAN so you can see or BEN Bengaluru right so that time it gets refreshed or that value gets coming but here in, in this case you do not actually have to enter anything okay so even though I am not doing it even though if I just comment it out okay and if I just uh, run this code it will work still work because it's not fully draw dynamic okay but uh, the approach would be same for dynamic drop down you just have to enter something in the drop down enter something in the input field to uh, show those uh, like filtered list so basically when you are entering ko it's actually getting filtered so it's actually working as a filter so when you enter ko you can see only the fields only the cities which are having the keyword ko in it it is getting displayed right so that's what i mean by dynamic drop down and you will see some cases where uh, you need to do this search first then only we can select something otherwise you cannot just scroll even though here also you cannot scroll all the cities right you need to first type something if you want to select Patna so you have to select PAT first then you can get it right otherwise you just have to scroll it scroll it scroll it then you will find it so which is not very good thing and also we can see uh, we can uh, type like uh, like Tiru, uh, maybe like Netaji right Netaji or uh, sorry it's is it working no it's not working so basically i was trying with this pandit or uh, dindal over the airport so it's not working actually so we have to type like ccu okay so once i select ccu it automatically gets selected right this is also a very good thing i mean you can directly select it but um, the objective of this video was to how we can handle this drop down okay so hope it is clear and uh, please let me know if you have any question thank you for watching please like share and subscribe